So Daniel, what are we gonna talk today about? What do you have something for us and our listeners? Well, one of the things that everybody wants in their life is to be the best they can possibly be. Mm-hmm. And I have a piece of artificial intelligence that makes you smarter, that helps you reduce your stress and achieve your goals faster. And I want to get this technology into the hands of your listeners so that they can become smarter and they can provide a better life for themselves and their family. And so oh. I'm going to share with you a new piece of artificial intelligence today. I'm upset with you. Do you know why? I'm struggling the last three months to finish my thesis, you know what I mean? Like, with well, the last part, <laughs> last 60,000 words. Uh, and now we have come with a machine, which is going to make me sm- smarter and everything else. So, Daniel, tell us more about this uh, artificial intelligence uh machine it's a machine or what, what is it like a software or what is it i mean i don't understand daniel daniel what do you think i, I want to hear more well i want to hear more well let's let's get into it um everybody is 100 percent emotional and emotions drive our life so yeah. what happens with our body is we first of all have a trigger and there's a thought our thoughts then produce 95 percent of our emotions and our feelings And those feelings then determine the actions we do and don't take in our life. Mm -hmm. And what we need to become more aware of today is our emotions because it's the emotions that cause the big problems in our life. And so using artificial intelligence, we can now measure your levels of emotional intelligence by measuring brain wave frequencies in your voice. I mean, so this, this, is, this, is, this is very solid now, because Darren and I are looking at each other, uh, Dr. Joe Isaac, oh, he doesn't know what to say. I'm trying to think, what, what, what's the background to all this, and how, how someone discovered something like how, this? Yeah, how they can discover with the yeah. voice, you know what I mean? But you're in trouble, Darren, because you said that, you know, that Joe has a better voice than me, so like Darren, uh, sorry, Daniel, please continue. Yeah. He does have a nice voice. I was listening to that before, resonating right out of the I'm chest. I'm quitting now, you know. <laughs> I'm going to tear apart my contract. <laughs> so please continue, Daniel. Well, over the years, uh, quantum physicists, uh, biochemists, uh, people studying epigenetics and psychology, they've realised that all of life is a frequency. And inside of our voice, we have frequencies, and they represent the frequencies of the brain. We can also measure the frequency of the DNA in our body and also our mental and emotional health. Mm -hmm. And so this technology, years ago, it started by measuring brainwave activity and now we measure brainwave activity through the voice and then what happens is the artificial intelligence with more than a hundred thousand case studies then combines the voice recording with all the data and it shows people their level of emotional intelligence nine different personality styles what makes them stressed how fast they move how fast they start what happens when they get towards the end Uh, It identifies, we can identify up to 481 emotional triggers with a 90-second voice recording and then share with you your personality style. So this piece of technology gets deep into the mind. Look, there's, you know, I I know you're the (coughs) world's most leading uh, expert in emotional intelligence, but, you know, there's nobody better to ask about these things. But may I ask Dr. Joe Isaac right now, Joe, why emotion is important to us? I mean, I know Daniel is going to be asked this question as well, but why is, it, <laughs> why is this, why are the emotions important to us? And why are we using emotions for decision making? Let me answer this in a form of a question. Well, thank you, Dr. Joe. Is, as I will, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer it in a form of a question. How do you think our wrinkles on our face get formed? Becoming old? Well, that's the, the result, but the formation of it. It's essentially chemical reactions in the body chemical materials inside the body frequent mo- facial movements that's why if you see someone that has got more of this part that means they're normally a smiley person if they have wrinkles here there's chemical reactions that happens inside the body those chemical reactions regulate how we look and regulate how you feel and another important thing the difference between emotions and feelings and most of the time a lot of people don't see the fine line between the two emotions is an external stimuli coming to you mm-hmm. doesn't mean anything but the feeling is the interpretation of that so if someone said something bad to you or appears to be bad I've already made the feeling happen because I judged it I interpreted it but it's not necessarily bad and I always say if someone says you know I love you 
for example. Yeah. That might be, I love you. I need to now, this is the emotion part. The feeling here is going to interpret that. Yeah. I love you. Is that a good thing? Or is it a threat? Maybe somebody saying, I love you. And they really know what they're gonna do to me. They gotta hurt me. Oh my God, Joe. So Daniel, you know, if we can now, just, I'm just like I'm shocked now. Uh, I mean, he's gonna uh, hurt me. <laughs> Darren, you and I, we're smiling a lot. That's a, that's a, that's that's. I mean, we are not angry people. Well, at least I'm not. You know what I mean? Yeah, I love smiling. Yeah, but that's true. You know what I mean? But Daniel, so as much as I like to know this, you know how this works, and how how, how are you gonna? you know I mean to the voice you know I'm still trying to understand you know you explained this very well so how, how is possible to somebody test this with you what's the way the process somebody, is yeah process is very simple what we do is we take a 90 second voice recording and as you talk you could uh, sing your favorite song you could do your ABCs you could count to a hundred you could read a page in a book mm-hmm. and what happens is there's a certain vibration that comes through your voice. And what Albert Einstein once said, he said, everything life in life is a vibration. And so what we're measuring for is these vibrations. And as Joe mentioned a moment ago, he mentioned the word love. The emotional frequency for love is about 500 hertz. And through a voice recording, we can pick up that level of frequency. So all emotions have frequencies from love, which is about 500 hertz, and then you go all the way down to guilt and shame, which have a frequency of about 20 hertz. And so the voice recording picks up this vibration in the voice, and then we measure it. Interesting, Darren. What do you think about engineer? How technology? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I'm thinking about it because, yeah, you you can easily pick out different frequencies. Like audio, when you hear like a a tone of some sort, um, it's just these tones are very uh, small and not detectable, discernible, except by things like the, the, the software and that Daniel's talking about. So mm. yeah, it's quite, quite sounds quite amazing. I, I get it. I'd love to hear some like practical examples. Okay. Da- so Daniel, uh, after the break, would you yes. like us, we record, you know, Dr. Joe Isaac voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> or, you know, I mean, Darren or myself, and then we can, uh, you know, you can do some, some, you know, analysis of this or how would you like to do this, Daniel? Let's do it. Well, uh, I've got some great case studies here and well, I'll share with you some examples of please. common people who are becoming more emotionally intelligent through the use of this artificial intelligence. Sounds great. Let's go to a break. You're on yeah. Business Insights with Mario and Darren on Stay Alive. Stay with us and Daniel from the... Daniel is a fourth person in the studio. Even we are limited on three, thanks to Darren Capes Davis, and we are truly grateful having expert from Taiwan on emotional intelligence, Daniel Tolson. And Daniel, we're going to come back up to the break. 21 minutes past one, alive 9.5. Business Insights with Marion Darren. And thanks to Darren. We have the fourth guest in the studio. Sorry, second guest. Four people in the studio directly from Taiwan, the emotional intelligence expert. And no, that's not any expertise that our guest from Taiwan has. It's a few other ones, but we talk today, we're talking today about artificial intelligence and the voice recognition who is going to make you very smart. I am upset with Daniel Tolson. I love him very much and very dearly, but he's discovering this machine now. Well, I've last three months, I'm struggling <laughs> with 30,000 votes for the, my thesis uh, from, you know, whatever was number 70,000 in total. So, Daniel, I know that uh, Darwin was kind enough to offer his voice for analysis. Uh, we are ready to you analyze his voice and tell us everything about him, what we don't know, deep inside. I, I don't know whether I should laugh or cry when I see this one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean to see that? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm going to laugh because Darren, so like, okay, let's go make a laugh. No, we don't want to make fun of Darren, but I would like to, we have the laugh, so tell us. Well, let's, let's put a frame around it first of all. Uh, We've got to understand emotional intelligence. There's five pillars of emotional intelligence. The first one is self-awareness. Mm-hmm. This is understanding why you think and feel the way that you do. What we know in the population, only about 36% of the adult population can accurately identify the emotions that they are feeling at any given time. And so what we seek to achieve when we're using artificial intelligence is to increase awareness. Now, something that's fascinating about increasing emotional intelligence 
is the person with a higher level of emotional intelligence will earn on average around about 39,500 Australian dollars per year more than somebody with low levels of emotional intelligence. So as we increase the self-awareness today for Darren, then he can then regulate his thoughts and feelings more effectively. The third pillar of motivation is motivation. He can then become more motivated. And these are the intrinsic motivators we're looking for. He'll also become more socially aware. You'll be able to read the emotional makeup of other people more effectively. And then with social regulation, he'll become a far better communicator. And so what we're seeking to do today, Darren, is to increase self-awareness. So uh, let me know, Darren, when you're ready to roll. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. (laughs) (laughs) I'm ready. Anyway. Okay. We'll have some fun. Uh, You've got some wonderful characteristics here. And with a five-minute voice recording, because we did an extended report for you, we've found more than 1,441 emotional triggers. And the first thing that I'm going to have a look at here is your current level of stress. Now, one of the things that shows us here is that you don't tend to have people stress in your life. The stress that you experience is more to do with systems and processes and around your career. This is like I almost lost swearing. It's true. Like, you know, as you're talking this, Daniel, that machine, whatever you're using, it's accurate because I know Darren. And so far, I would say 90% accuracy. Yes. The, the other thing I can see here, as we just have an overview of the report, I can see that your life force energy is really high. And so when I observe you, I was watching you in the boxing ring the other day with Maydad down at Bondi Boxing Gym, and you were light on your feet. Although you look like a T-Rex when you're boxing, you look very light on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> and your life force energy here has been measured at uh, 93.2%, which is on the high side. Now, when it comes to expressing your emotions, we call this for you is extrovert first degree. And I'd like to just to check in with you and see if this is true for you. What we've discovered here is that you like to talk about your emotions and you can be, come across as an extremely caring person. Would that be true for you? Yes. Mario, would that be true for what you know about Darren? Absolutely. I just I can't answer his name this time, but yes, I can confirm this. Concur. Yeah. Wonderful. So this is something that I can understand from you. Now, if we were debriefing this in full, Darren, we'd go a little bit deeper and see how that this helps you achieve your goals. But we're just going to have an overview today. One one question that I'd like is that in your life, do you find that you enjoy the support of other people? People lending a hand, helping you achieve your goals. Are you open to accepting support? from the people around you. Mm, Most definitely, yeah. Wonderful. Excellent. So this is just a quick overview here. One of the other things I'm taking a look at now is your emotional life journey. (laughs) So can I ask a personal question? Yes, you may. Have the past two to three years been very testing for you emotionally? It's been an interesting journey, yes. What some of the traumatic experiences or testing times that you've been through over the past two to three years? Well, I've been... He met Mario Beckers. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, well, that's one thing and, and um, you, you'll probably be able to answer this and my, my response will probably come out in some other of your details, but I, I, I've been looking for opportunities because of just, um, yeah, needing some change and so I, I did finish up work back in May and that was full-time work at... Um, place I was working for 20 years and um, yeah and, and part of that was just looking for for doing other things and then exactly the same time I met Mario and Business Insights and yeah so it, it's it's been a lot of change to, to put it in a positive way. I must say something Daniel it's accurate because I know that Darren for, for a long time but I know him maybe last eight months very well and this is the, you know, the moments when I say Darren, he, you know, what, what you're saying is true. And this is what I love about Darren. He doesn't talk too much, but, you know, he can't hide some things. You know what I mean? So far, that's good. Eh? So how are we going to make a Darren, see. how are we going to make a Darren uh, smarter now? <laughs> how is going to make him more money? <laughs> We're going to help him become more aware and yeah. show him how to manage his emotions more effectively. And there's some key emotions here that have been triggered uh, a lot of times for you. 
uh, especially over the last two to three years, Darren. What I can see before that, probably the 20 years before that, there wasn't a lot of significant emotional triggers in your life. Uh, but in the last couple of years, I can see a lot more emotional triggers. And would it be okay if I share some of these emotions that are being triggered off for you at the moment, based on what I can see on the report? Yeah, sure, fine. What I can see here, and this is something that you may have awareness of or you may not be processing it because what it says here on the on your report is that the emotions that you're experiencing at the moment, the observed emotions, are not getting enough attention to straighten them out. And a couple of common emotions for you that have been identified here is the emotion of sadness. So to ask you, how often would you experience the emotion of sadness. Every time I hear listen to Lana Del Rey, some of her sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, how, about, how about this, Daniel? We take a break of this one and uh, you can answer to the Daniel after the break. Daniel, we can do this. <laughs> Daniel, can we do that? 100%. Let's uh, well, do it. The, ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Tolson directly from Taiwan analyzing the voice of the Daniel Caves Davis and to improve his. Uh, to become the beast bigger than me so thank you for listening business insights with mari and darren and darren now take a short break with our guest in studio dr joe isaac and daniel Thompson from taiwan directly business insights with darren and oh here's mario <laughs> <laughs> like i was just so small to be missed in the studio just 165 kilos and uh my two and a half meters Hi, uh, daniel i just like to ask you one question because we analyze it uh, darren very closely now I know that you have been so accurate with the Darren, but I'd like to ask you, so how do people can benefit from this b by contacting you and analyzing using that uh, artificial intelligence in a business world or privately? In, in a business world, when you increase your level of self-awareness, you start to unlock more of your potential. And about 84% of the population have this feeling of unfulfilled potential. They have this, they have this feeling of this superpower inside of them but they feel that something's blocking them. And so what I say is that if you're aware of a strength, you can use it. But if you don't know you have a strength, then you can never use it. It's like uh, my grandfather he used to hide money under the bed and we're in New Zealand and he hid the money under the bed and then we drove 100 kilometres south and he put his hand in the pocket to buy lunch and he had no lunch. He, he had no money for lunch. <laughs> he had money. He just didn't know where it was. And so we can have th these superpowers and once we become aware of them, we can start to utilise them. So in a, a, in a business, you can become a more effective leader. You can become a much more empathetic manager. And in your personal life, you can be become a better lover, a better partner, a better father, a better mother, a better spouse. And so if there's an area of your life that you want to improve, emotional intelligence will always help you become more effective. I'm I'm just blown away because you know we we, all, we look we talk quite often in in a, in a studio about emotional intelligence and we're meeting so many people down in myself. However, this is the breakthrough I would say. You know, I mean, particularly from the expert like yourself who's coming from that field, of emotional intelligence, using artificial intelligence to help people to become the superhuman. Say, what do you think, Darren, about this one? You know, I mean, would you would you accept? You know, I mean, to be uh, no, no coaches and guided by Daniel, but artificial intelligence help you uh, to become a superhuman. Because my understanding of superhuman is the strength. You know, I mean, honestly, like that's my. I, I'm I would so say, backwards. and this is how I like to play out my life: is that any sort of information about me as a machine, being a human, because that's all, all we are in the end, mm -hmm. is beneficial for me to understand, so I can actually improve the machine. The thing it is, you know, that software sounds to me very beneficial for everybody. So if everybody wants to utilize your skills, personal level, and as a coach, and plus that software, how they can come contact with you, where they can see demonstration of that software, uh, and, you know, how can they upload their voice, and uh, you take it further. Well, one of the first things that I say, Mario, is that our mind is like a parachute. It only works when it's open. <laughs> <laughs> I, I listen after this show today, Darren. Seriously, I gonna have the some pills because <laughs> the Joe he says one thing that uh, Daniel just a uh, top up, you know what I mean? And after this, I gonna be so pumped with my brain. So, what do you mean by parachute? Well, uh, if you jump out the back of an aircraft and your parachute's not open, you're gonna come crashing to the ground. 
So a parachute only works when it's open. And that's like <laughs> your mind. And for people who come to work with me, I say, you've got to have a mind that's like a parachute. And it only works when it's open. So people who are really open to trying something different. You know, when you go to the doctor, the doctor does an x-ray. So if you think you've fractured a bone, the doctor does an x-ray. And once the doctor does the diagnostic, you look at the x-ray together and you say, uh, it's fractured or it's not. And so what this artificial intelligence does is it takes a deep x-ray inside your brainwave frequencies. And then what we do together is we work through here and we explore what's happened in your life. We explore some of your emotional weaknesses and how you can correct them. And then we look at your strengths and how you can utilize them and optimize them. So if people would like to learn more about this and like to see a demonstration, you can go to my website, danieltolson.com, or you can write to me personally and I'll respond personally. My email address is daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, at daniel Tolson, D-A-N-I-E-L, Tolson, T-O-L-S-O-N, dot com, and I'll reply to you personally. And I'll show you via video how this works. And if I may ask you one more one more favor, when we finish this radio show, maybe today or on a weekend, if you don't mind, just uh, take a small uh, video. You know what I mean? What the software again it is? You know that you spoke with us and how they can reach you again. So you know what I mean to our listeners today on our website online905.com.au. There will be podcast with Daniel Tolson directly from Taiwan. You should listen this one because. It's going to assist you very well. Daniel, thank you for being our guest today. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Daniel, we should uh, maybe rock and roll. A little bit short break or? Absolutely.